Hey, AI. Oh, hey. Glad I found you. How's it going there, uh, just uh, wrapping up in there? Oh, yeah, it's great, man. Hey, look, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, airport traffic was totally brutal. No worries, we're used to it. I'm uh, Darren Stackhouse, coach of the South Bay Lakers. Yeah, yeah, it's a G League team, right? Hey, Marcy, you got a read on my lunch? I want a tuna and cheese on seven grain bread, and then these sprouts they like to stick in there. There's no seven grain. And I've been to this place and I've seen the cheese and it's buyer beware. So, so what are you gonna give me, a little bowl of tuna and slap it on a paper plate? I don't want that. They can do rye. No, no, I don't want tuna and rye. That doesn't taste Tuna's good. Tuna's delicious on rye. Are you saying that because you actually believe it or because of my lack of options? Tuna's gross, so I guess the second one. Is this the guy? This is the guy. Interns out and I picked a short straw for lunch. I'm Marcy, I do analytics. Your PR is solid, but you gotta get those wind shares up if you wanna stick. Gotta get them uh, up. Uh, yeah, okay. Come on, uh, let me give you the rest of the tour. That's really nice of you, coach, but I slept on the plane and I'm good to go for practice, seriously. Okay, but those guys are wrapping up in there. Practice doesn't start for another hour. Wait, they're wrapping up? Yeah, the Lakers. So, the uh, the locker room is down here, saying this is a brand new facility, our home. And your new home, what's the problem, kid? My new home. Your new home. Now listen, our roster's a little depleted this year, okay? We got some problems, but I got high hopes for you. Uh, uh, co Coach, um... Stackhouse. Co yes, Coach Stackhouse. Name is Coach Stackhouse. <laughs> I don't have a manager yet to get me with, like, logistics and okay. people to help me out, so... Right, okay. We're listen, here now, My Chinese though. isn't all that great, okay. so... Um, sometimes things aren't completely clear. Are you saying that I left the Shanghai Bears for the South Bay Lakers? Yes. Not the Los Angeles Lakers. Did someone tell you you were coming here to play in the NBA? They, I mean, they just said, you know, L.A., and, and then 10 minutes later, I'm on a plane, and... No, I get it. I get it. That's a tough pull, kid, but, uh... It's a G League. South Bay Lakers. If you have a problem with it, please... No, no, huh? no, Coach. No I'm, problem. I'm good. Yeah, You're good. Yeah. 100%. You need a cup of water? No. <laughs> I'm good, man. Let's do it. Good, let's uh, continue this tour. I got things to do. Hey, Corey. Hey, uh. Let me uh, get at you real quick, man. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a joke, right? This is how this is gonna go, man. I don't even wanna have the conversation. Oh, whoa, whoa. What conversation is that exactly? <laughs> I'm in a G League, man. I'm supposed to be, a, I'm supposed to be on the Lakers, bro. I spent all this time dominating in the Chinese league. It's not enough. I put you on a poster in Shanghai. Yeah, you showed me up. You played an inspired hat. That's right, against all stars, Corey. It was a start. Is that they were? Or is that yours? Both. And to tell you the truth, you ain't even on their radar. I've seen their boards, AI. I, I know who they're tracking, and you're not on there. I'm only telling you because I would want to know. Sorry. Uh, hey, I understand you. Yeah, I hope so. No, I'm, I'm saying I understand. It's it's refreshing. Shut up. You know, I brought you here. At least, I called Stackhouse and he listened. Wait a minute, you. You're the guy from after the game in Shanghai. Who are you? My friends call me Big Tooney. It's not the name my moms gave me, but it's just as important. Oh, God, you, you, you're Big Tooney? You sound surprised. Well, no, nah, no, nah, it's just like when people hear about you, it's, it's like they're describing someone that doesn't really exist. That's because I'm willing to make decisions no one understands. Everyone thinks that you should be a GM and you always turn them down. Anybody with a TV remote control can make a lottery pick. North Philly, Rucker, Greece, Lithuania. That's where I'm at home, where the game is played. I'm like an old man on the beach with a metal detector, trying to find that piece of gold no one else sees. Do you, uh, do you think that's me? Straight up? No. <laughs> wow. Ouch. But you might be. You just tried to run before you could walk or crawl. That's why you ended up where you needed to be. Shanghai. Hmm. 
Then you learned how to crawl. That's why you're here. Keep grinding. But there's something more for you. Something, something missing. Like what? I put in a word for you once, eh? I... Just make sure I want to do it again. AI, my man. Get over here. Hey, coach. Uh, coaches. AI. You know, everyone on this team really appreciates everything you've done. You know that, right? Well, I haven't had a chance to do anything yet, coach, but uh, I'm excited to win this team some games. I mean, y'all need me. Ha. We appreciate that confidence. You are going to be just fine. I have a, uh, I have a sixth sense about these things. Thanks. Uh, that, mean, that means a lot. So there is no easy way to say this, but the South Bay Lakers now have unlimited credit at Reggie's players and staff included. Okay, um, I'm confused. What's Reggie's? Reggie's. Reggie's Famous Grinders, the food truck on Sepulveda. Every, every local blog, top ten, five stars on every app that matters, and we're their new local lunch stop. Oh, they make great sandwiches. The, the, the tuna melt the, is out of this world. They, they put two to three cheeses on every sandwich. It's great. Swiss and provolone. Swiss, provolone, and no rye. No rye. You, you like rye? Um more of an Italian role guy myself. So, um, what is going on here? Well, we, we, we made a deal. And, and Reggie's was in the deal we made. And we got a player, plus they're covering our Reggie's bill for a full year as, a uh, as part of the trade. Trade for what? It's a business. It's a business, kid. Where am I going now? Hey, you AI? Have a seat. Uh, okay. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I'm just finishing up here. <sighs> So, um, co 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 Coach Couch. Just taking a nice long look at you. Um, welcome to the Mad Ant, son. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Glad to be here. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that with a straight face. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean to no, offend you. No, no. It's, it's Fort Wayne, Indiana. You know? I mean, here's what you need to know. The summers. The winters. Okay, we don't have any sports stations here, so we get all of our news from the Indianapolis affiliate. Okay? Let me tell you something about Indianapolis. They think they're so cool because they have, like, a restaurants and uh, a mall, schools. We don't need all that stuff in Fort Wayne. Okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we got other stuff here, like, um, uh, we got... Uh, basketball? Yes, like basketball. And... Uh, oh, you know what else we have? Amish people. Did you know that? Uh, no, sir, there's a lot of Amish people. Yeah, yeah, and they drive real slow in those little horse and buggies, I tell you what. But you know what they do? They make really great furniture. Did you know that? They can make any kind of furniture. They made this desk for me. You got to pay them in cash, though, because they don't like to pay taxes because they hate the government. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's my theory. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, ba basketball. <sighs> Discipline, control, and respect. Does that make sense? I think it doesn't really, now that I say it out loud. But anyway, uh, when you were at the Bulldogs, I thought you had a lot of discipline, a lot of control, but you don't respect your team. You know, you're not a team player. You got to master that on the court and off. Well, I mean, sir, I never, you know, had much of that. I tell you what, a lot of guys, they burn out because they think their job ends at the buzzer. It doesn't. What I want you to do is to take some time and make yourself a better man because that's going to make the team better. Okay, and if you treat Fort Wainwright, 
She'll pay you back in full. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it, sir. You're here because I wanted you here. So prove me right. I got you, I got you, bro, I got you. Would you just hold still? I'm only gonna do this once. All right, out. I miss, I pay for every dinner this season, all right? Enough with the speeches, Paul, throw it! All right, all right, here it comes. Ready? One, two. <laughs> hey, man, you need a little... Oh, hey, hey, sorry, man. Uh, it's, it's all good, it's all good. Wait, wait, new guy. Uh, yeah. Hey, yo, yo, new guy. I'm Howie, AI, nice to meet you, bro. I'm the guy you'll see at the end of the bench. I think Coach mostly keeps me around because he doesn't know I exist. Occasionally calls me Doug and confuses me with the equipment guy. Asks me to pick up a towel here and there. And do you? No, that's Doug's job. I don't want Doug to lose his job. Hey, um, do you know which one of these is uh, my locker? Just pick one, that's what I usually do. Or just toss my stuff in a heap in the corner. AI, lock is over there. Make sure to put a new plate on this morning. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, wait, um, you Paul Tatum, right? Yeah. <sighs> Four seasons with the Bulls, six with the Heat, <laughs> one of those with the ring. Yeah, now I'm a mad ant. We working together. Yeah, that's the plan. Man, that's awesome. You a legend. I patted my hook shot after you. Man, I am not worthy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm excited to see what we can do out there. Thanks. <laughs> hey, uh, can I get through real quick? No, I'm good. Look, bro, I'm, I'm gonna need you to slide over, okay? That's my locker. See you on the floor. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, now what's up with him? Him? Is that a trick question? <laughs> nah, the dude who was just by my locker, you know, only speaks in two word bursts. He actually talked? It's Marcus Young. Must be warming up to you. That's good to know. So. I hear we get you and South Bay gets a deli counter? <laughs> Point guard too, but yeah. Open tab at a sandwich shop was part of the deal. Apparently it's on all the important lists. <sighs> I love lists. Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, so, anything else I should know about this place? Okay, so it breaks down like this. The bus. Don't even waste space in your bag for one of those neck pillows. It doesn't matter. You're not gonna sleep. You know, old gym socks everywhere. You know, basically, it smells like the 70s. And keep your shower time to a minimum. It's just good business because there's always a line. You guys kinda know to look out for each other here. Come on, let's move it! The food, you already know about. Since we're always on the move, it's typically cheap and local. With local meaning a highway convenience mart or hotel vending machine if we don't have time for a longer stop. And we play cards, lots and lots of cards. Buy a deck, because playing Euchre or Beret with a few clubs missing just makes a bus ride that much longer. We have one of the toughest schedules in the league, and most of those travel miles are through stretches of the country that make your phone as useful as a paperweight. <laughs> Welcome to the Mad Ants. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I, yo, check this out, man. When we get out there, I want to be sure that we are clear about who I am and who you are. <laughs> hey, look, man, coach wanted me here. Okay, that means that he thought that the roster was missing something. It was lacking. Now, I know who I am. So if I was to take a guess about who I would say you are, I'd say you're lacking. It's my team. It's not yours. It's never going to be yours. I'm going to get my numbers. Hey, man, everyone gets numbers. But they got to be big if they mean something. Okay. Let's see who scores the most points tonight. Okay. You're on. Your eyes sharp tonight. Team we're playing, it's all smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors? A man! Jackson Ellis. In living color. In the flesh. Large and in charge. You name it, I am it. 
and like the Phoenix, I have risen again. Yeah? See, because I'm just surprised they let you through those metal detectors with all that steel pulsing through those broke knees, Jack. <laughs> Classic Tater. All set up and no punchline. You sure you know how to play this game, man? Hmm? Last time I checked, we weren't dropping set shots at the peach baskets anymore. AI Howie, Jackson Ellis. Hold up, freeze frame! Money, whenever you need it. ATM is in the building. What's up? Okay, I'm confused. What, what is happening? Oh, this is great. It's like a horror movie. They're everywhere. And ATM. Smoke and mirrors. You might not see us coming. And you definitely won't see us go. Better check your wallet, son, because you just got Jack. Hey, who's your little uh, tag-along gang, Tatum? Looks like they got laws at the last week's Bieber concert. Bieber! Bieber! Man, please, with all this middle school trash talk. I used to study your moves coming up, Ellis. I'm gonna be like a shadow tonight. Anywhere you are, that's where I'll be. Ooh, looks like we got ourselves a player, ATM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First name A, last name I. From what we've seen, artificial intelligence pretty much sums up your whack game. Okay, well, uh, you better have all your money in the safe, ATM. Because this crowd's about to see exactly how two dinosaurs went extinct. Is that right? Well then, talk's over, little man. We're gonna make it our personal mission to make sure that every scout sees the tape of this here game, uses it as an example to show where your career went to die. Look, enough talk. Let's play. We'll be seeing you out there. Smoke and mirrors. Out. Okay, so that happened. Shh. Man, please. They all talk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't fool yourself, kid. They used to be in the league for a reason. If we underestimate them, they will bury us. Welcome, everyone, to another game of Mad Ants Basketball. I'm Blake Suniga, alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. We have a great game in store for you tonight. Well, I know Mad Ants fans have been waiting for this game as AI, we go. the viral dunk legend, has made his way here via trade. All right, first official game for the Mad Ants, and I had two game goals going into this game. Game goal one was to shut down Smoke and Mirrors, Jackson Ellis and ATM. Our goal was to shut them down and get this win. The second game goal was simple. That second game goal was outscore Marcus Young. Now, Marcus Young is my, my team rival, you know, the guy that he's trying to get to the NBA like you're trying to get to the NBA. So he's going to do whatever it takes. He's going to do he's going to use you whichever way possible and step on you along the way. Now, that's that makes for a good little rival. And when when playing this game, I felt I realized that this this my career story leaned more towards the uh, point guard and shooting guard. Like if you played any one of those positions, it felt the story was more for you. Uh, mainly because everything it wanted you to do was about getting points, getting assists, and you're going to see that, you know. But one of the things about it, I try to get my assists early on so that way I can then afford to take my shots, get my jams going, and I, and I put the hurting on. I put the hurting on Jackson. Now, Jackson Ellis couldn't do nothing to me, you know. Took him to the hole, dropped him off a couple times, dunked on him. Do what I do. And that's what I love about playing this, uh, this secondary build. It's no different than the build that I'm used to, except the ball handling is a whole lot better so I can get professional ball handling moves. You're going to hear me talk about that all the time because that's what it's about. Going back to playing point guard, I want to build that can handle the rock, that can distribute the ball, get others involved. You already see me got me 14 points, four assists. And throughout this, I'm going to work on getting these, getting these numbers up. You know, And once I hit the NBA, that's when all my real goals are going to come into place. Set myself up for success by setting myself up with game-to-game -game goals, rival-based goals. 2K might didn't create a rival-based system, but I'm going to make one up myself to make this ride a little more enjoyable. Um, and another thing I did like about, I thought about playing for Indiana once I get to the NBA. But I haven't completely decided on that just yet because I would love to see if I do decide to play for Indiana does that extend it. I haven't looked up anything online. Maybe somebody already answered that question, but I, I, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, whether, whether there's still a surprise or two left for me 
in this. So, you know, going in, give me a steal. I told you, man, Jackson Ellis, he couldn't do nothing. He thought he was number one. Nah, man. Nah, baby, I'm number one. I'm number one of the programs and number one of the people's hearts. I'm taking them to the hole. I'm going to put them down. I'm going to put them on. Now, any tips that I can give you when it comes down to the prelude, like I first told you, was very simple. Going into the prelude, because uh, like some people are going to look at it and say, well, 2K20 is right around the corner. There are people going to still be playing 2K19 when 2K20 top drops. There are people that are going to buy 2K19 for the first time when 2K20 drops because the price is going to be even lower. You know, people play the game at their own rate. That's This video is for anybody who just wants to enjoy uh, an era of uh, my career excellence um, and a way to a couple of tips and tricks along the way and just some things that I can show you that will help you make the game a little more fun seeing the way I play it. You know, going into each game, it's about getting buckets and getting numbers. This game was a pretty much short one because I, I, I spent a lot of time um, in the third and the uh, second being subbed out, uh, mainly playing in the first and the fourth. Played a little bit, but as you can see right there, Jackson Ellis fouled out. He tried me. I told you he tried me. So last game, last shot of the game, I'm going to take it on down, give me a couple moves. I'm going to kick it to the inside, get it back, uh, and finish with the finger roll. Just give me the rock after the scream, man. Move it. <laughs> give me a second. Think you own the court? You think you own this locker room now? Nah, but uh, I think I just scored more points than you tonight. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing tomorrow night, and the next. And the next. That's how it is? Whoa. Huh? Whoa, whoa. That's what you think? Hey, whoa, 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 guys. Is that what you think is going to happen? Hey, hey, hey. Huh? It's okay, man. It's okay. I'm just trying to get under Marcus's skin. But it's working. Yo, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button in the center. If you like that video, check this one out on the left. If you're looking for something a little bit different, check this one out on the right. We're doing all games all the time. We're always going to be trying to put something new. Let me know how you feel down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.